장난파에서 먹어도 없구나 부산에서 배부리가 없어가지고 부산에서 배부리가 없어가지고 부산에서 Start off from the Sham Gate. Um, yeah, excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not for Mr. H4. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very positive. Pardon? Very positive. Excited? Yeah. A bit more about that? Fantastic. Hot dude is bro, Bruce Forsyth. Anyone's ever seen just things to see me. Putting my girlfriend. Thank you. 
Right, end of day one, we started about quarter to eleven and we finished about five, I think, something like that. Um, mainly for the rainforest today. Saw some monkeys, it wasn't a bad day, a bit tiring, getting used to it, but it was a good laugh, good banter, enjoyed ourselves. Um, we had a stopped off for picnic lunch on the way, which is quite nice. Uh, it's now nearly half six, we've got dinner in a minute, it's getting pretty dark and pretty cold. Tomorrow we're hiking for five hours, I think. Um, yeah, and it's all going well so far. Todd, at the moment, is now asleep, as per usual. Uh, moaning about a lot of stuff, as he does. Didn't bring the right equipment, that's Mr Edge for you. Um, but yeah, it's going really well. Nice group of people with us so far. Enjoying it. And uh, let you know how tomorrow goes. Mr. Edge, how are you feeling so far? I'm alright, Mr. Swingle. First name Joel, after revealing my name last night. Second name Terence. Thank you. <laughs> well, what have we done so, so far? Joel Terence Swingle. Uh, we've climbed a bit steeper. The terrain has changed. I find it helps to think about it as like a computer game. Cause we did the forest level, and now we're on the kind of more sparse level where there's not many trees. What's the weather like? What's the weather? Yeah. Not good for gingers, it's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I've put factor 50 sun cream on twice. And it's still going red. And apparently I'm red. Is that right for you? I don't know, I can't see myself. <laughs> Is that all you got to say? Uh, I want to save some for tonight. Alright, okay. Thank you. Bye everybody. <laughs> What do you think, viewers? Text to this number. <laughs> Let's stop then. Let's stop then. Right, end of day two. Uh, where do we start? Oh, breakfast. Started breakfast. Started about 2,900 metres this morning at Misham Camp. Uh, climbed to now 3,800 of me. Six hours. Uh, Shira Camp. 
were at Shira Camp. <laughs> just uh, did camp. Because we're so good, we've just got an extra hour walk <laughs> <laughs> to go up there. To acclimatise. Yeah, for tomorrow. And that the thesaurus's teachers. <laughs> um, <laughs> acclimatise. Oh, I'll do it. Should Quick. I say yeah, We haven't got too long. But yeah, go for it. We haven't got long because the battery's wearing out and there's a rubbish camera. Uh, acclimatisation, children, is when um, uh, you go higher so that your lungs get used to the oxygen. Because there's less oxygen higher up, as you all know. Um, so we got used to that a little bit more and then we came back down to sleep. So tomorrow, when we go back up, it's not going to be so tough. So hopefully it'll be alright. It was very dusty today, wasn't yes. it? Yes. A lot hotter. A lot hotter. Dust up our noses. Tell us about your toilet experiences, Mr. Reg. Toilet experiences. I went in, well, yesterday, you missed this, children. Uh, yesterday I went in the trees uh, for the toilet. And today there was a little shack, little wooden shack. Uh, so that was a nice experience with a hole in the ground. The cameraman's not paying attention anymore. That was really good. Uh, yeah, so that's been good. Also, the dust got up my nose, so a lot of blow on my nose, looking down, and it's just black from dust. Which is not, I was going to save one for the camera. Yeah, but Mr. Swingle took it for a souvenir. <laughs> um, we've been having lots of bring the needles in our hands as well and feet from the attack which we're taking. For uh, altitude sickness. Altitude sickness. Uh, and this is camp. This is camp. Oh, and this is camp. So we're back to our <laughs> dinner now. Tomorrow we're going to 4,800 metres. Then coming back down to 3,800 to camp. <coughs> Obviously, two kilometres again. And that's pretty much it because I want a hot drink. We can so. do it, can't we, Mr. Swingle? <sighs> no problems, mate. Oh, look at the love. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Right, it's very cold, freezing. Got woken up at half five. Um, didn't sleep very well. Oh, yeah. Cold night, very cold. Didn't um, sleep very well either. Just had breakfast. Had a big wee. Uh, about to start off on a four hour climb before we have lunch. We're going to 4,800 metres today. Um, and yeah, it's freezing. Is it four hours up? Four hours to lunch at Lava Camp. And then three hours, you've got to go three hours down after that. Huh? Because we're acclimatising again. I can't hear what you're saying. Come run, you can't speak. Your battery's running. Ba what battery's running out? Battery's on. So on that note, see you later. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. If I get drunk, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I heave up, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's heavering to you. But I would walk 500 miles and Three. Yep, day three. That's when we start. We got up at half five and we started walking at seven. And it took us, I think it took us five hours forty seven minutes until we got to lunch. Did it? Because some bloke timed it. And it was three miles, but it felt like forever. And it was at that was going up quite steeply. Lava tower we went to, which was four thousand six hundred metres. Good numbers. As high as where? And Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Which means White Mountain. Kilimanjaro also means White Mountains. <laughs> Why do uh, they always call it White Mountains? We've got no mountains in Britain called White Mountains. Too far, I can't think. Uh, Joel's really tired. Yeah. I'm finding it easier and easier. If anything, I'm getting better, Joel's getting worse. They can hear me though. That big ridge, that big white path, is what we're going up tomorrow. 
good Barack uh, Obama. War. Barack Obama war. Barack Obama war. Or something, I don't know. Um, feeling really knackered. Um, On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being full of beans, 10 being knackered. About an 8. Oh, quite tired. He didn't have a nap. I had a nap and look at me. I didn't sleep last night, that's why. Uh, not from one to try it. But tomorrow... Even walking to your tent, you get out of breath at the moment. Hang on, I need to say a bit about the level. So level one in our game was forest level. Level two was dust level. Level three today was rock oh, level. Three. Yeah. We're doing a, a video for school for the teachers. You gotta say hello to the camera. Say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Mambo? Mambo. Karibu Kilimanjaro. Mambo. Jambo Buana. Habarigani. Muzuri sana. Wageni. Wakaribishwa. Kilimanjaro. Hakuna matata. <laughs> He's made it much better. Yeah, that's a better video now. Uh, he's a uh, main guide. He looks after us. Great uh, bloke. Yeah, now we're waiting, people. For, waiting for dinner. And then we're going to bed because tomorrow we're getting up half four. Half four? And we're climbing all day. And then we have a bit of sleep and we start again. At midnight tomorrow night. Where we go is up to the top. I can't believe you've got this much energy now. I had a nap, I told you. Uhuru Point. Yeah, cool. Then, then. Right, we've just climbed uh, Baraka, Baranco, Baranco, Baranco wall, something, Bar something wall. We haven't got long on this video. <laughs> yeah, for the last couple of hours, it's pretty much rock climbing all the way. Um, yeah, the views are absolutely amazing. Uh, we're very high up. Yeah, as you can tell, we're out of breath. And very that's steep climb. That's where we're going tonight. Hopefully. And this is everyone that we are with. Started off as 27, there's now 26. All 26 is going to set up. Yeah, you're gonna ruin yourself through that. <laughs> right, we're at Barath camp. <coughs> this is the last camp uh, before we get to summit. We started at half six this morning. We got here about four. Um, we've got four hours sleep now. We're now going to bed at 25 to seven. Um, ready to get up at uh, 11. 11 o'clock. Everything you do, I'm sure you can hear. Tonight. Run out of breath really easy. It's really hard. A headache. Yeah, we've got we're getting up at, starting at twelve and we're going for how many hours? Nine hours up. Eight. Well, eight hours up. Get to the summit, hopefully. And then definitely four, five hours down. And then when we come back here we're not allowed to sleep. Yeah. Because it makes it worse with altitude sickness. So we've got a long day somewhere. You're talking twenty eight hours before we can sleep again. Twenty so, hours. Something like that. Um by the way, just so you teach at school now, Todd is in a... I can't even think of the word, I'm so, I'm so tired. Todd is in well, possession of a, ro uh, a rooster hat, let's say. Uh, we will explain to you how he earned this rooster hat. It's basically for people who annoy other people. Yeah. There's, it's like there's a picture of evidence. It's like a cockerel hat, isn't it? A cockerel it's hat. More it's more of a cockerel hat. It. Um, he owns the hat pretty much because every single day he's earned it. I say something that uh, I don't know. People, people don't. Sorry. 
I don't know, it's just... Anyway, it's getting cold. We're that's, off to bed. That's where we're going tomorrow. Where's that? That's where we're going where in four hours. Where is it, Mr. That's the top of Kilimanjaro. Yes! Yeah, I can't do any more. Yeah, never mind. Let's just get a dive. Hello everybody. Hello. Um, we made it. I was gonna leave that as a surprise. Oh, but now you tell me. Should have talked about this before. Um Yeah we did. It's really good. How, how would you describe it? Right, this is my analogy, this is my way of describing it to the children. It was well, it was the, one of the hardest days of my life. I'd say it was Listen physically. I'm It's like when you're really tired and you're watching TV and your parents tell you to go to bed and you have to climb up all those stairs in order to get to bed and you feel the tiredest you've ever felt ever but those stairs keep going on and on and on they're over 1,000 metres long and the higher you get up the stairs the less air there is to breathe and the more you want to stop Thank you! Thank you! Mambo. Yep. Mambo. Thank you. Mambo. 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 How are you doing? Good. Making a video. You're on TV. Yep. <laughs> These are for school kids back home. Yep. Tell them what you do. What's your job? My job is uh, I work as a guide. Uh -huh. Yeah. But now I'm working as a game crew. Yeah, game manager. Cool. He's the guy that helps us get up and down the mountain. Yeah. We wouldn't have done it without him. So. I just want to tell you that at 12 o'clock you are welcome for lunch. So keep packing your things. Thank you very much. Yeah, 10 minutes. Super. Yeah, thank you. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Peter. <coughs> cheesy. Come on, David. Uh, thank you. Thank you. That's all right for the video. Cut back to me. What's changed? <coughs> Obviously, my glasses are broken. Well, let's get back to facts. Yeah. No, 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 we've got to get back to facts. Right. longer because the cameraman who's my brother he's got no top on and he's freezing that's all folks right to answer the question that most of the kids at school have given me about where we're going to sort it here he goes That is our luxury toilet while we're on camp. Um, the rest of the time, when we're trekking, we find a rock, find a tree, um, go pretty much anywhere we want. And with the tablets we're taking, we're going probably every five minutes. Um, it's our camp. Come on, come on. 
And me and Mr. Edge will do the last video, Dory, until we get to the bottom later on. Is this the real life? Is it just fantasy? Caught in a landmine? No. Escape from reality? <laughs> That'll do. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And a small token of our, um, of our 
our appreciation, we have um, something to, to give to God for you, and we'll then be handing that to, um, to everybody else. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks very much to all of you. All your hard work. You've got to talk about A letter of thank you. I'll keep it very short and very brief, but Jambo, Jambo Guana. Everyone, help Jambo Guana, Abadi Gani, Muzuri Sana, Wageni, Wageni, Wakari Bishwa, Kili Manjaro, Akuna Matata. We also have um, a few items of equipment um, that have been donated to the team um, as a sign of our appreciation. I say, one of you to be chatty and buy your mezitoa for the year. So, be to be chatty. I'm going to take a little bit of a Guys, if you just take a number out, you see the person has out that number and then that corresponds to somebody's name. Right? 41. 40? 41. But Joseph John, Joseph John, poor lad. Finally disappointed. Congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone. Right, we've done it. Right, we've just done it, we're down the bottom. Um, Turn around and talk. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we're happy. We're getting more energy again. In need of a massive shower and wash. Just had a glass of shampoo to celebrate it. With all these wonderful people that done it as well. Did it. Did it. Can I just take this camera for one moment because I want to show the person who's been filming this all week. He's got a weird back to front face. <laughs> Aww. This is my brother Kyneton, who's been the cameraman for the whole week and he's been a superstar as well. All three of us made it to the top. Woo! Oh, there you go. You Good back. boys! Thank you. What do you want to say? What's it been like? It's been extremely difficult at times and hellish, nightmarish. The worst time ever. We need to start again. Hey, we've done it. We're at the bottom of Computer Manjaro. Um, just had a glass of champagne to celebrate. Uh, exhausted, happy, dirty, smelly. Um, just want to borrow the camera quickly. Don't turn it. <laughs> this is the cameraman that's been filming everything we've done all week. It's Brother Kyneton. He's been an absolute superstar. Sad man there. Hello. There you go, Kyneton. Thank you very much for your hard work. Yep. And we've also completed with all these fabulous people. We've got to go now because we're getting onto our buses to go back to our hotel for a wash and a party tonight. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been a nightmare. Are you going to say something? Uh, sums it up. <laughs>